Later, he boasted to the others. Driver says I don't need him now, he told the others. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go without my driver, said Toby earnestly. I'd be frightened. Huh, boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. You'd never dare. I would then. You'll see. The next morning, the firelighter came. Thomas drowsed comfortably as the warm spread through his boiler. Percy and Toby were still asleep. Thomas suddenly remembered. Silly stick in the mud, he chuckled. I'll show them. Driver said I could manage without him. I'll just go out. Then I'll stop and wheesh. That'll make them jump. Thomas thought he was being clever. Really, he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his controls. He soon found his mistake. He tried to wheeze, but he couldn't. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors, cried Thomas and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled.